can't win, I can't reign, I will never win this game without you, without you. Okay, here we are in Empire Earth 2. Just follow my tips and what I'm doing on screen, and you should be able to play against a medium opponent in no time. Although I'm on easy at the moment because I'm talking as well. Right, get, get, uh, as soon as you have uh, five people, civilians, come out of that sea centre, get all five of them on wood. As you can see here, we've got a warehouse. Brilliant for like making trips back to city centres different so that they go to warehouses but the supply the drop off at the same point and it just makes it faster and everything. So yeah. There you go. Right, making a city centre now. Like to make so that I can get more population and I can also make people from there. This is uh Yeah, just tell I gotta shut up because it's been annoying. Yeah, this is this is how it should end up. This is when everything is finished, like I put on screen now. There we go. Oops. Right. This is how it all should be. So now we're gonna start making barracks. Barracks make infantry, and now I'm going to make a factory, which makes sage weapons. Usually on a barracks get all of these, because they really do help. It's a lot better. Right, I also linked my cities up by a road to make stuff faster, and I've just stuck a dock down. Soon the armies will be pumping in. Yeah, the enemy does decide just to throw, like, a few people over onto your island. Which will happen, I'm sure of it. I always do it. Here's my small little army starting to develop. I'm not really a military sort of person. I start off very economical, with, like, not buying units, but you have to buy them in the end or you won't win. But I'm also building a stable. See, I told you. I knew they'd come and attack. You can just tell these things. Ooh, laggy. In a bit, I am going to go over to their island. So I can steal some of their resources. Because they, they won't grow very fast. So, And look, they've got more space than me, so I'm just going to take it. Here it is, skipped on a little bit. Got all my people in there, ready to go over to that new place, see? Like I said, I'm skipping quite a lot of this because the video would have been about 20 minutes long. See, at this point it's 20 minutes. And look, that they haven't even got half, the ma half of their island yet, but and I've got all of mine. I'm taking over some of theirs. Since you sent her down, I need a fortress to capture the territory, but means if my units do get hurt, they can be healed quicker. So he skipped on a bit again, making that fortress, and now I'm going to do technological advancement. Although I'm only on five of five epoches, or however you say that. Oh, God's sake, not again. Right. My army is okay at dealing with them. They'll be fine with it, even though I haven't upgraded them some more ships because they keep attacking so I'm just going to take out them. Moving over from that island, just capturing the rest that they haven't captured. They haven't really got much over here either. They'd already built a city centre but it wasn't connecting to their other ones. This city, m this territory must have had some importance because they wouldn't have just skipped one. It's weird. I need to put a fortress here as well, yeah. 
because there's only one way they can get into this bit, and it's by it's there, and well, two. There's a small place they can get in, but it's not huge, so I don't think it'll be that important like, until later, until they've got bigger armies. Poor civilians. Shouldn't do what they're told in times. Here's a little sea battle. These uh, ships, if you upgrade them, they can, they're can they quite good at taking down buildings and stuff like that. They're, they're good against ships, obviously, you know. They keep going to attack. It's annoying. Don't tell them to attack, but they go and do it anyway. Then they start dying, and I'm like, no. It happens in this game. And this is going to be the main attack force, as long as they all, all don't just die randomly. Like getting shot or something. By a ship, not a gun, obviously. They ain't got guns yet. Right. Here they are trying to attack me on there. Well, it's, it, it's on our borders, so... This is like the front line sort of thing. But, when I've taken these out... Just take out the city centre so they have to build it further back. They'll never build a city centre in the same place they did. But I'm going to attack in a minute because, like, can't just keep leaving it. Let's see. My army was developed enough to have taken a minute. Like, as you can see, it was on 53 minutes. So I could have done it at 40 if I really wanted to, but wanted to make sure they were ready and they're not taking as much casualties but they can't match that now they got my naval force I bet that dies though in the end it'll probably die but they'll take along so many ships with them see I, I leave them two minutes two minutes and they're already in the city taking everything down it's just brilliant. They work fast, these do. But what usually happens is they take their city, but then, like, they're not, they are hiding somewhere else as well. And you have to go and find them. It's like a huge game of hide and seek. These are just the final ships now, but they were, they were taking down a lot of my infantry and stuff. I haven't really got much else other than infantry, other than a few ballistas and catapults, but, yeah, win. Anyway, this is the end of the game. Have fun on Empire Earth, and I hope you learn stuff. I'm out. Enjoy the music.